A very good morning, afternoon, and evening to Dr. Ellie. We are from Group 4. In this video, we are here to present our project topic, a review on the effect of coastal sea level rise through the study of five international journals. These five are the international journals we found in the internet. From these five journals, we were used to discuss the similarity and difference of methodology they use in their research. As a short introduction to sea level rise, it's defined as an environmental chance event on the increasing of sea level rise due to impact of environment and human disturbance, such as temperature boosts. And the significant impact of coastal region will be the flooding and the erosion and the shore water interruption. Based on the reference we found, the long-term impact of sea river rise on coastal region is the increase in the vulnerability of the coastal region to the floods and storm. Our purpose of this project is to study the effect of sea river change on the coastal area based on the five international journals. And well, our objective will be to determine the similarities and difference in the methodology, findings, and conclusion of the five international journals. Now, it's turn to our discussion part. We found that there are four journals use the two same methodology in the evaluation of sea level rise and flooding in coastal areas. And these two will be the CMIP5 and the RCP. CMIP5 is a modeling technique to be used to determine the future coastal sea level rise and the impacts. These four journals use the same CMIP5 methods in their research. CMRP5 is the latest climate model to predict the climate based on the art and science technology today. The example will be like Earth observation system and the long term of the experimental analysis. The data and the result will be shown in the graph and table format. From the information, we can estimate the sea level projection and the effect on the coastal region. According to some reference, we found that climate change and sea level rise activity are more developed in this century. This is due to the increasing of temperature and concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. RCP is a radioactive forcing pathway to reduce the emission of the greenhouse gases in the environment. Actually, there are the four scenarios of RCP. They will be 2.6, 4.5, 8.5, and the last one will be the 6. But based on the study of the five journal, there are only these three RCP scenarios will be used in their research. RCP scenarios are designed for the climate modeling system and also to indicate in the sea level projection in the 21st century. Here are some of the results of the image from the journal. Figure 1 is showing up the future sea level projection by using the RCP of 4.5 and 8.5. From this picture, we can see that the higher the probability level and the RCP scenario, the projection of the sea level will be higher in the year 2100. Nowadays, sea level rise is defined as the most concerning environmental issues. It's because it will contribute to the extreme impact on the human, such as flooding. By using the RCP and DEM methods, the scientists are given an estimation data on the number of people flooded and the flood cost from the year 2000 to 2100. The data are shown in the figure 2 and 3. From the difference in methodology from five journals, we have categorized them in three parts. First is the types of data, and the second will be the sea level component, and the third will be the model. For the types of data, there will be two types of them. For the total sea level data will be used to estimate the flooding event. For the satellite altimetry data, it will be used in the analysis of the regional sea level. For the sea level component part, this journal will use the computation method on two types of the sea level component, which is steric sea level and the sea level budget. 
Steric C level is to verify the controlling factor at the type gauge location. While for the C level budget, the individual contributors will estimate during the observation. They use these two types of the C level component data and the type gauge record to indicate the coastal sea level rise value and flooding. For the model system, the other four journal has used the same methodology of CMIP5 and RCP in their research. But for this journal, the methodology they use is different for the others. They use the four different of the method in their research. For the diver, it will be represent the sea level trend impact on coastal and also to analyze the flood risk by the algorithm. The swap model will be used also in their research to circulate the two storms from the deep water to the near shore region. And the SBHG model also will be used to show the morphological data before and after the comparison of the study area. And the last is the wave energy converter. It will be used because it has been improved to be the capable of performing the dual function which is generating the carbon-free energy in the research and it can help to protect the sandy coastline against the erosion. In each five journal, they have their own finding in their research. For the first journal about the coastal sea level rise around the China Sea, they have an estimate value on the media coastal sea level rise by using the RCP 4.5 and the RCP 8.5. Well, for the RCP 8.5, it resulted in the higher value of the medium coastal sea level rise than the RCP 4.5. And the vertical land motion range was between 4.5 to 1.4 mm per year. For the Carlson Journal in 2016, they have a prediction of the global mean relative sea level change by using the RCP 4.5 and 8.5. And they also assume that the sea level rise may also cause some of the small islands on the Central Pacific Ocean to be disappeared. And the coastal relation average is between 10 to 20 cm. In this particular journal, there are three stages of the sea level rise, and the projection of sea level will be increased with the stage. Well, in the data journal in this year, the coastal flooding event caused by the sea level rise will increase in the last 12 years, and the flooding event will be more happen in the summer and wet season. And there are the statement about the fighting of both journals. When the wave height increases, the higher wave runouts will increase the height of the astronomical heights. And this event will contribute to the sea level rise and the coastal flooding and erosion event during the western and the eastern storm. For the finding in this journal about the coastal flood damage and adaptation costs under the 21st century sea level rise, the scientists have found that there will be the 8 cm of the projection of the land sinkage due to the effect of sea level rise. And the climate change will be the environmental factor will further affect the meteorological processes such as the frequency in the storm, wind and the cyclone which will alter the coastal sea level rise and the flooding damage to the coastal zone. And based on the five journal, they have supported that the global warming and the climate change event will enhance the formation and the consequence of sea level rise to coastal zone in the turn of the melting of ice and the extraction of the groundwater. In conclusion, based on the critical review on five international journal of the coastal sea level rise, we have well studied and discussed the methodology and finding in the report. Many studies have proved that the climate change affects the sea level changes on coastal area. For the factor which will contribute to the coastal sea level rise, there will be the melting of the sea ice, ocean water expansion, groundwater extraction, and the human activities such as the construction project on the coastal region. For the effect of the coastal sea level rise, there might be flooding, coastal erosion, disappearance of small islands, increase the vulnerability of coastal region, and the meteorological events. 
To deal with the coastal sea level rise issue, some strategy must be conducted, such as the reduction in the concentration of the CO2 greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, and to reduce the footprint in the coastal area and provide the protection structure to coastline. And the last here will be the reference regarding to our project topic. That's all for our presentation. Thank you.